Today I'm going to share a few fantasy books with such incredible first sentences that they immediately grab you and keep you reading. Let's start with the end of the world, why don't we? Get it over with and move on to more interesting things. That is from N.K. Jemison's The Fifth Season. <sighs> Prince Riodin of Arleon awoke early that morning, completely unaware that he had been damned for all eternity. And this, of course, is from Brandon Sanderson's Elantris. When a man you know to be of sound mind tells you his recently deceased mother has just tried to climb in his bedroom window and eat him, you only have two basic options. That's The Steel Remains by Richard K. Morgan. God wasn't answering tonight. That's from Three Parts Dead by Max Gladstone. Quentin did a magic trick. Nobody noticed. That's The Magicians by Lev Grossman. Locke Lamora's rule of thumb was this. A good confidence game took three months to plan, three weeks to rehearse, and three seconds to win or lose the victim's trust forever. This, of course, is from the excellent The Lies of Locke Lamora. The child is dead. There is nothing left to know. That's from Black Leopard, Red Wolf by Marlon James. When Mr. Bilbo Baggins of Bag End announced that he would shortly be celebrating his 111st birthday with a party of special magnificence, there was much talk and excitement in Hobbiton. That, of course, is from The Fellowship of the Rings by the Master, the Professor, J.R.R. Tolkien. Sizeth, son, son, Valano, truthless of Shinovar, wore white on the day he was to kill a king. That is from Brandon Sanderson's The Way of Kings. The wheel of time turns and ages come and pass, leaving memories that become legend. Legend fades to myth, and even myth is long forgotten when the age that gave it birth comes again. In one age, called a third age by some, an age yet to come, an age long past, a wind rose in the mountains of mist. The wind was not the beginning. There are neither beginnings nor endings to the turning of the wheel of time. But it was a beginning. That's from The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. It's one of my personal favorites. Now it's your turn. Tell me some of your favorite opening lines from some of your favorite fantasy books. <laughs> 